Hello, and thank you for coming. It has been a very long time, very, very long time, since I have desoldered a chip from a circuit board. Long time. And you know what irks me is, I have somewhere, but I cannot find, a beautiful soldering iron that takes different tips that lets you take the tip or the expanded tip it's almost like a little bar put it down the side of a chip it melts all the solder on one side of the chip you pry gently the chip comes out you do it on the other side boom the chip comes out it tastes like after it warms up it might take as much as 30 seconds to get a chip out but I can't find that and I've looked online to try and find another nobody seems to know what I'm talking about they all think I'm crazy. So, uh, what I have to do here, I've been gathering my resources, is I have to take the board out of the 64 and remove, well, well, maybe I don't need to remove the thing from the bottom. I think it's already gone. Anyway, um, and then I need to take my soldering iron that has a hollow tip and a rubber ball and suck the solder out and see if I can get this PLA chip out. This is the machine um, I got from a fellow who would really like to show his son about, you know, the kinds of things they used to do when he was in high school. So, let the games begin. Hello, so here is my desoldering iron that I am going to fire up and see if I can get this PLA chip out of the 64. It's quite simple. There's a hole in the front of the soldering iron, and there's a rubber ball. And you heat up the solder, and you, after you've been squeezing the rubber ball, you release it, and supposedly out comes the solder. Here we go. So the first thing I must do is there are seven screws holding the board to the case. They must be removed. So the screws have been removed, the case is no longer a factor. Uh, usually there is a shield on the bottom of these machines. This one, before it ever got to me, has been removed, so I did not have to remove it. I had another soldering iron ready to go, but it's not here. So right in the middle of this, it almost looks like a star field, is where the PLA chip is. But hopefully where the PLA chip will not be for very much longer. Everything on this board, as I was doing a visual inspection, looks pretty okay. But this connection, or this stuff here, I'm just not so sure about. Perhaps I will heat it up in the process of this and uh, tidy it up a bit. So here are the seven screws that are... Mostly identical, but not quite. The soldering iron, or the desoldering iron, is plugged in. It's heating up. It's almost time. So here are the seven screws that are mostly identical, but not quite. The soldering iron, or the desoldering iron, is plugged in. It's heating up. It's almost time. So here we are, looking at the board. I put the screwdriver here because this, these two rows are what I'm going after. And I, uh, you know, everything on the bottom looks the same. So I know what I'm doing. I think it's time. All right, so the iron should be hot. I squeeze the ball and then I lower the iron to where the chip is, and I let go. And I see not much has happened.
So, I have decided. Now, in looking at this, I, I would like to think it's ready to go. Some of them are a little more tricky than others. Some of them modify. Anyway, I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to try and lift the chip out. What I did in the midst of all that, you may have noticed, I moved around to try and, you know, move the pin to the center of the hole and all that. Anyway, we'll see what happens in a moment. Alright, so I have a wee screwdriver here. I would really like to think that if I gently put the center... By the way, I don't believe what I'm saying, but I'm going to try. I would like to think that if I gently put this underneath here, gently, but firmly, ooh, that sounded interesting, from both ends, and give my word. Okay, we're coming along. Alright, so the one side of the chip has nicely sort of released. Just before I'm going to try, I just want to look at this. This, that does not look to me like it is done. So I'm going to turn this board over and go again. Alright, so I flipped this over. I went again. But that one pin doesn't seem to want to give up its solder like the others. So I'm going to gently pry. And everything seems to be coming out except for that one pin. So I think what I'm going to do is turn the board over, apply the soldering iron. I mean, I, I, I can't show you this. It's not that it's too painful. I just, I can't. I've got to turn the board over, put the iron on, and then gently pry on the other side. So just have faith and hope that I can get this done. All right, so I have the chip removed except for that one pin, and I'm just trying to see if I can get the iron in on the top side to loosen it up. Maybe I can. Well, maybe I can. It seems that... Uh, no, it's really not happening. Well, that one pin does not want to let go. And I can't really get the soldering iron, the desoldering iron, into position to release it. And the other iron that I have handy is a big weller, and I think that's too big. So I know I have another soldering iron. I'm going to go look for it. And right now, I mean, the chip is, well, except for one pin, it is free. This one pin, as I look at where it is, it does seem it's on a sort of a bigger bus line, which so maybe it dissipates the heat better. I don't know. Anyway, I will look for the other iron and carry on. All right, I have located my soldering iron, and so I'm going to let it warm up and then try and waggle, wiggle this PLA chip out. All right. The iron is hot, and I believe well, I can get it out. Come on. Oh, we're still holding on there. Aha. Okay. So. One PLA chip removed. Now I'll let it cool a bit. It won't take long. And I will take it inside and see if my working 64 is happy or not with this chip. I am really hoping it is. But we shall see. Stay tuned. Alright, I'm just about to take this inside and give it a test. The pins look pretty okay. Alright, so I have come inside, and I'm going to put power to this 64. Yeah. Grand. Nothing happened. Alright, so, uh, when you have a lot of power supplies around, <laughs> or even if you only have two, if you plug in a power supply that is not connected, 
you will not get much in the way of satisfaction. So I'm turning the 64 on. Okay, so I have a working 64. It is connected. It is time to check. Sorry, to put the PLA chip that I just pulled out of the other machine right there. All right, the PLA chip from the dead machine is now installed in the socket and power is being applied. And I am thankful to say I see nothing upon the screen, nothing. Isn't it magical? I think we may, well, at least we have one thing that we have found that is definitely bad. I'm going to turn it off again and turn it on again, just in case. And nothing has changed. Hello, Sheldon. All right, now what I've done is I put in the dead test cartridge, which should do pretty much nothing. Hello, Sheldon. Yes, how are you doing? Okay, so the dead test cartridge is in. Sheldon has come to do the CAT scan. And we still have nothing. So, we have a bad PLA chip. Is that the only problem? I don't know. But, we'll find out. Stay tuned. Well, I am ready to put a socket into this other 64 because the PLA chip has been found to be bad. But I don't have a socket. Oh, I have sockets. I just can't find them. So, I'm kind of irked. But, uh, I'm going to go and get some. And I'll get extras. I will. Anyway, so, um, does this Commodore 64 work? I don't know, but I know the PLA chip is bad. So, I'll check in again when I get back. I'm going socket shopping. Bye for now. Hello again. I'm just looking at all the holes that I desoldered. And indeed, they all look very nice and very clean and very open, except for the one. There we go. I don't know where. Well, maybe I can't turn it over. Maybe it's this one. Anyway, the one, it does seem to be on a bigger bus line. And it does seem to have been difficult. Anyway, I'll tidy that up before. But right now, once again, as I said, I'm going to get some sockets. Alright, so, I'm off to get some sockets. 28 pins. But I will get extras. Because, well, it's always good to have spares, but it really, really sucks when you don't know where they are. So, onward to the store. Where electronic bits and pieces can be found. Yes, even in this day and age.